Right. With that being said, most, I would say everybody that's in a sorority and a fraternity has made that their idol. It has made that their comfort. It's made that their open door. It's made that what they rely on. It's what they use as a crutch. God is out of the picture, even if they identify as a Christian. Now, the goal I want everybody to do, since most people join the fraternity or sorority 20, 10, 15 years ago, right? I want you to go back to the declaration you made. I want you to go back to the oath, the vow, and the pronouncements that you made when you got there. I want you to open up the Bible, and I want you to read them side by side. And I want you, to, I want you and your Holy Ghost you say you have, the spirit of truth, to judge and say honestly the, the pronouncements I made with this organization should have only been made to God. Mm. And only if you have the spirit of truth and not the spirit of error or the spirit of offense, because you're not offended with me, you're offended with God, that you will say, I am not only going to denounce this sorority um, in prayer, let heaven and earth record this day, I denounce my affiliation with this sorority and fraternity and this Freemason Association and Eastern Star Association, but I'm also going to write a letter of denouncement. Well, um, fortunately, there's a generation of people who have been coming out of these organizations of believers, young believers, older believers, after they do what I said, they write out, they pull out the, what they vowed 20, 20 years ago, they pull out the Bible and say, oh my gosh, I made a vow to an organization that I should have only made to God, right? They've been coming out. Well, recently the organizations have started to say, you can, you can denounce, but you have to agree to these rules. You have to agree to never talk bad about us. You have to agree to never say what your process was in getting here, right? Now they're trying to put this requirement for you to, they're trying to make it very hard for you to denounce. And I don't think that God wants you a part of any organization that's gonna make it very hard for you to denounce. That's not God, right? That's not the nature of God. Also, I was fair to say 99.999% of y'all got jumped in like a dummy. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. You Let's just be true. Dummy. Yeah. I got hazed up. Just I got dumb, hazed up. Dumb. E. <laughs> it's dumb. Damn. I wouldn't haze. So, and I'm just I actually, saying, I actually speak about that. It, actually, yeah, somebody we're going to call this thing a time. thing. It's dumb. Yeah. And to think that that's God. That's what I'm going at. You, you identify as a believer. I'm not saying you do, but I'm just going with the hazing part of it. And you want me to believe that your God, God, my God, Elohim, said that you should get hazed to be into this organization that you made an oath, a vow, and a pronouncement that only should have been made to God. And you want me to believe that this is God. It's not. God would never do that to you. God would never get you jumped in. God would never. I've heard the stories of, I've heard the hazing stories, both on the men and women's side. It's not God. And now they're trying to make it impossible for you to get out of it. That's not God. The devil does that, but God doesn't do that because I'm a fruit inspector. So you can't tell me, I don't care how much they do for the community. Well, we give a lot to the community. We give a lot to the poor. So do drug dealers. Frank Lucas did it. Mm. Oh, <laughs> what drug dealer don't give away turkeys on Thanksgiving? What drug dealers don't give away toys and stuff on Thanksgiving? They do it all the time. That's why the, that's why the neighborhood loves, the community loves them, right? That doesn't matter. Your, your giving doesn't matter. Who cares that you are trying to cover up the oath and the vow and the covenant you broke the God up with with a few turkeys? You are a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I 